Good morning. Another amazing day or marvelous day on the Disney Dream. Today's day four and today is a day at sea. And we're at sea. With this cool bird that's following us. Hey bird. It's like 7.40 in the morning. We're gonna go to breakfast today. Um, we're gonna try Royal Palace, which is the main dining room that's open for breakfast. Um, we haven't been in this restaurant yet, so I'm really excited about it. From all the videos we've seen, it has all these really pretty mosaics of like the princesses and different shots from their movies, so I'm excited to see that. Um, and I'm excited to try main dining room like breakfast, you know, a little bit different than Cabana's. So that'll be really fun. And I'm Little Mermaid today. I love, I love these ears. Oh, I don't have the bag on yet, but I love these ears. We'll show you my new bag. Well, I mean, you saw it two days ago, right? On Marvel Day, I got my Little Mermaid bag. But I love these ears so much. But let's go see the lobby, because Royal Palace is right off of the lobby atrium. I bet the lobby atrium is like really empty. We can get, we can show you guys like how beautiful it is. Lauren, then I didn't even That's see that so one. That's so cute. So we found two more ducks. Where? One there, there's one here in the middle. Oh, that's adorable. So many ducks. There's way more ducks on this ship than there were on the RC ship. Yeah. Mermaid. I think it's all the same people, huh? Right. They went it's duck crazy. Duck number five. And I didn't get it on camera yesterday, but I found a uh, Superman duck in the hallway when I was going to get the water bottle from, from the restaurant. You don't keep filming. Are you? Oh, okay. <laughs> Shut up. So we came down the forward stairs. Yeah. So we have to pass by all the stores to get to midship. Maybe we should look in these again today. I'm down. Is that new? The dress? Like this stuff. Like the no. Sail in the Dream and I don't think so. I do love that Sail in the Dream shirt. Right, I might that's need really to get cool. that. Because like I have those ears. Super vintage yellow. Is that a mini lounge chair? It's a cell phone holder, but yeah, it's a lounge That's chair. That's adorable. That's really cute. Unfold it and put your chair, your cell phone on a little chair. Mm -hmm. Oh, I kind of need that. And then here's the lobby atrium. So they don't turn the music on until seven. Mm -hmm. So it just came on a little bit ago. And it's like, this place is dead in, in the morning. It's great. And it's got all this great artwork. It's beautiful. Oh, and there's this mosaic too. It's kind of tucked away in the corner. I think it's Prince Charming. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good photo spot if you want. Mm-hmm. Then here's the lobby atrium. Yeah. You have the grand staircase. There's Donald. And there's Lauren. There's another duck another by Donald. Duck. They must have gone nuts this morning or last night. Right? Another duck. Yeah, it's the same people. And then you've got our Marvel Day at Sea banner. So these guys, cabin number 7536, we see you. <laughs> we'll leave those there for the kids. And then show them all the... The, I don't even know oh, what the that's called. The yeah. gilding, gilding so the lily. That's we, something, right? We found out yesterday on the Art of the Theme Tour that these, uh, this is different on this on, on the twin ship to the dream, but here it shows all of the characters on vacation. But I guess on the, on the sister ship to the dream, it shows them all working, which is kind of funny. So it kind of just repeats itself. Yeah, but it's super cute. I like it's the really idea, cute. you know, like that it's what you can do on your vacation. Right. Did you say that they said in the the things that yesterday the first two ships are like about crew members? You said that. Oh, I wasn't listening. I was over there. But look <laughs> yeah, at my Lauren's cute bag. Like, yes, there's the matching bag to her ears. Now all she's missing oh. is the matching little mermaid wallet. Because yeah. Lounge Fly produces a wallet for each one of their bags, too. Well, I don't know if it's each bag, but they have a lot of them. 
I would imagine. But I love, I like this is bag. adorable. This is this is absolutely one of my favorite bags you have already, and you got it two days ago. I don't know. I love it too. So then over here is the entrance to Royal Palace. It's really pretty. Thing. So this one's themed after the princesses, right? So you've got like this really pretty chandelier with all of the, the like details and stuff. That's gorgeous. Yeah. And then we just gotta wait maybe like 10-ish minutes and then it'll open up and we'll show you the inside. Yeah. So pretty. I'm really excited for lunch, uh, breakfast. <laughs> I've had for breakfast. lunch too already. Right? That'll be fun too, yeah. Hopefully we'll be back here in the Royal Palace trying what that's like too. Those are cool like portholes over there. I said I'd stop talking, but I've decided not to. No, good. I'm gonna go check it out. So you can see these really cool details on the windows and stuff too. It's just like Disney is just unparalleled in its attention to detail. I'm like, oh, you can kind of see inside the restaurant here. Do a little, do a little snooping. And you see there's like princess mosaics and paintings and stuff on the back. We'll get a closer look. But here is the gorgeous sunrise on the Disney Dream day four. And there's Lauren. Can you see Lauren? Yeah, there she is, all right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Hi, Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do. Oh, yeah, no worries. The French toast with the pancakes. What are you getting? Omelet. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Which do you think I'd like better? Um, probably the pancakes. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're totally fine. <laughs> Thank you. Next time with coffee and hot chocolate. Uh, no coffee for me, just hot chocolate for her. <laughs> so only one hot chocolate? Yeah. yeah. Laura and I flipped it and it said no face detected. So I think we have a problem. It's probably because there's a lot of light behind you. Yeah, no, my face just disappears. It looks like this. And I'm gone. Uh, that was kind of a cool effect though. Uh, I, was, I was there for a second. And then you disappear. Yeah. And there's Lauren. She's still here. The white crown. So Lauren pointed out. The gems. Lauren pointed out a lot of these little details <laughs> that I missed. So on the backs of these chairs, there's a rose. Is that a apple? Uh, oh wow! This one, please. Yes, that looks so good. Thank you. Um, all the cinnamon roll, please. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much. Looks yummy. It is fine. So it's like a shell. It's aerial. Um, and that's another flower. It's an apple. <clears throat> that is not an apple. Is it an apple? Is yeah. it Snow White? It's round and you got the leaf and the stem. Okay, well don't jiggle the camera. It's got a gimbal. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was the shell. I can't tell from far back. But then there's this cool little scones here. It's not too fast. <laughs> It's got a rose in the middle, and you go all the way down, and it's And then the thing above the window is like a little crown. <coughs> cool. It's super cool. I uh, know. Yeah. Oh, there's, just... there's a slipper on, on that one. Oh, cute. Look at what's on the back. Oh, it is an apple. <laughs> I see it now. We got bread service before our meal. I'm gonna be so fat after no. this trip. But I got the chocolate chip muffin. But I'm actually gonna eat a big breakfast today, which will be nice for Devin. 
because yeah. otherwise I get grumpy. And then Devin got a cinnamon roll. I got a cinnamon roll. These look really good. They do look really good. The Cafe Promenade Baked Goods on Adventure of the Sea was amazing. I have not had any of the baked goods yet here. So, but they look really good. There's something in Cove Cafe called a chocolate pillow. Um, oh, what do they call it? A chocolate pillow something. But it looks like a really chocolatey croissant. Why did you tell me that? Did you not see that when we were there? Okay, no. well, we gotta stop by today okay. and do that. Well, maybe not today, maybe at some point. <laughs> we only have two days left. So I know, but today I might be really full. Mm -hmm. This is really good. It's very soft, it's very fresh. Yeah, these look amazing. I'm just cut into that. You can oh, tell wow. it's, it's fresh. That's really good. That's we got breakfast. Mm -hmm. Lauren, what'd you get? I got the chocolate chip pancakes with bacon and hash brown. I and I was that. served the syrup. Yeah. I bet it's because they don't want little kids getting it everywhere. Yeah. You don't give a toddler a, a carafe of syrup. <laughs> oh my god, could you imagine? <laughs> I got a hash browns and a really fancy omelet with mushrooms and bell peppers and ham. <laughs> and like and everything that you could order in ah, is in there. It's so good. Like literally. All right, well, that was great, Lauren. You're every day selling me a little more on this main dining thing. Yeah, I know. Sometimes it's nice to go slow, you know? Yeah. So, shout out to Glenda and Nico and all the... You guys run a, you guys run a good show here. Yeah. And Ashley, too. I know, he's the, he seems like the boss guy. Yeah, one of them, huh? So, Good job, everybody. All right, where are we off to next, Lauren? Um, I can't remember. <laughs> so something at nine, right? Yeah, there's Disney trivia at nine down on deck four. Okay. So we could head down that way, and then like deck four has the outside part. We could go down to deck four and then step outside and look at the water for a little bit because it's only eight thirty-one. So. Sound like a half hour. Cool. All right, so we go up it's one. Disney trivia. Right. Which we did on the Royal Caribbean ship as well. I don't think we filmed it because I think we had a filming issue or something like that. But it was a lot of fun on the Royal Caribbean ship. Yeah. I was doing. And we did pretty well. Well, we always do with the movie stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> so walk down and then head out. No, deck four. We're on deck three. We're on deck three? Yeah. The bottom of the atrium is three. It's yeah, three. How are we? And four. Then let's walk up the fancy stairs. And five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're going to go up the grand staircase. Right? You should take my picture on the grand staircase with my beautiful backpack and my beautiful ears. Oh, I totally should. All right. Okay. We'll see you on deck four. Blowing up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Sometimes it feels like that. So it's something that should be celebrated. <laughs> I guess I did go up the stairs. And I would like a round of applause for that. Thank you. Because sometimes it does feel like a big accomplishment. All right, we'll pause for an applause break from the crowd. Yay! My <sighs> beautiful bag. bag. It's so shiny. I'm going to get a piece of gum and just taste syrup. Do you want a piece of gum? No. So we haven't spent a ton of time out on deck four. Um, no, I kind that of, floor is really nice. I think one of the things that's been, I, I've had a hard time like verbalizing with like the differences between the RC ship and the Disney ship is yeah. like access to areas where you can just like be outside yeah. near the water is like way more limited on the Disney ships. Because you have deck four, and then of course you have the top decks and stuff, but the top decks are full of pools mm -hmm. and it's loud. like water slides and it's really loud. RC then, was kind of the same way though. And then you have your balcony if you're paying for a balcony room. But like we had the, there were multiple decks. Like, I don't Were know. there? Yeah. I don't, I'm, I don't remember. It was only a month ago, but I have a hard time <laughs> sometimes. Like every deck, so this is deck four, but almost every deck <laughs> on Adventure of the Seas has this little walk, this walking veranda area. Yeah. Like all the public decks do. Yeah. So. You just get a little, I, I feel like you get a little more opportunity to like just be outside for a second mm. than you do on this ship. So deck four has the jogging or walking path, uh -huh. running path. 
yeah. all the way around it, and then it also has shuffleboard. Shuffleboard. Which we played on uh, Adventure of the Seas. I think but you, then, I think you beat me on that one too, didn't I you? I think so. And we also just have the beautiful view of all the water. <clears throat> Or it's like a cruise ship, like way, way out there ahead of us. <clears throat> oh yeah, you're probably not even gonna be able to see that, but it is way out there. There was a lot more, I feel like there was a lot more stuff to see in the Gulf as well. Like there were more ships and you had the big oil rigs and stuff. Yeah, that pass. that's fair. There's been a lot, I mean, I'm not complaining because then you get views like this with completely undisturbed. Yeah. But it's just interesting, I guess, of the the differences between the Gulf of Mexico and the Bahamas? Yeah, for sure. Or Caribbean? Is that where we're Caribbean? Yeah, we're in the Caribbean. Okay. It's windy. Yeah, it's very windy. <laughs> I have to hold my ears. They're falling off. It feels like it's been windier on the exterior of the ship this in this part of the world. I wonder if it's Maybe. just the difference between the Gulf and the, and the Caribbean area. Maybe. It's also a different month and stuff like that, different weather patterns. We're in Evolution, which is one of the like bars. It's one of the adult it's in the district. settings, yeah, in the district. Um, and it's themed after a butterfly, right? Um, yeah, this whole big thing up here I'm showing you right now is a butterfly. Mm -hmm. Creepy. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of butterflies. It's actually one of my biggest fears. Um, but real butterflies, I guess, not like flapping fake butterflies. Flapping. It is the flapping. But we're here this morning for trivia. We're doing Disney trivia, although apparently it's more Disney, Disney trivia. trivia. I think because they've had Disney trivia on other days. Yeah. Um, but I'm excited about this. Trivia was something we loved to do on the RC ship. And they did a lot of it. Mm -hmm. As you guys saw, we did a bunch of it too. So it's about five to nine, and that's when trivia starts. So this is kind of the beginning of our day. And I've got my handy dandy pen. <laughs> So we're ready to go. I like yes. having my own pens for these. <laughs> yeah, Instead me too. of the little golf pencils. That's nice. <clears throat> Devin Our left me on my question. own for Let's trivia see. at the beginning here. In which and I'm bombing. animation do Buddy Joel and Betty Medler feature as the voices of two dogs? In which classic Disney animated do Billy Joel and Betty Medler feature as two voices of two dogs? Dalmatians? It's one of our old classic movies. Like Oliver and Company or something like that? that has dogs in. I don't know. Right. That is my clue, my friends. Alright, so that was question. Devin's back, so now hopefully six. I'll do better. Question number six. Let's move so on to the next one. This number is like 19. the hardest trivia ever. Number 19 says Which British drummer wrote music for Tarzan and Brother Bear? Oh. Which I mean, Tarzan's British drummer wrote music for Tarzan and Brother Bear? Okay, well, we knew one. Number 19. Number 19. But, like, otherwise, they've been really this hard is a, questions. This is and you can see like the the questions because we've I've just been writing the questions essentially just to feel like I'm part of it <laughs> because it's been really really hard. We're moving on to the last and final question of this trivia. Number impossible. twenty, everyone. Number twenty says the 20. royal family of Genovia <gasps> feature in which Disney movie? This is. The Royal Prime Family Royal. of Genovia. This is my feature in which Disney movie? Oh, thank God. At least we ended 20. on a good note with those last two. But otherwise, we bombed this. It was really bad. It was really right. bad. It was so that was the last and final the question of this story, my friends. Give yourself a round of Disney applause, fan. everyone. Huh? Disney fan. Yeah, was for amazing. sure. It was just a lot of obscure right. ones. Are we ready to check the so answers? Hard. Sorry, this is how you're gonna do it. Everybody yeah. have your final scores down? Sorry, I let you yes. down. All right. I want you to clap your hands and make some noise. We got 13 out of 20. Not four. bad, but definitely not. Good. We're not gonna win more this for seven. sure. That was a hard one. More than nine? More than 12. All right, we're in the D lounge for coloring time. Like adults. Yes, like adults. I do love to color. It's soothing. It is very soothing. So we got to pick some coloring sheets. I picked 
Monsters Inc., Mike Wazowski, and Devin's coloring stitch. And Devin got the little baby toddler crayons, <laughs> the big thick ones. Mm. And I got the normal or size. I got the normal crayons. ones because she's apparently supervising a child. <laughs> <laughs> so this will be fun. I love coloring, it's soothing. It's very nice. And it's cute that they have it. Yeah, it's awesome. I'm sure this is a great break for parents. Too. Mm. Musical. You have to dance to High School Musical. You don't. I, I'm, I'm literally not doing it right now. <laughs> so we colored. We got Stitch and Mike Wazowski. I wasn't sure what this should be, and I'm pretty sure that M is blue, right? Yeah. And I know his hat's white, but it felt boring to me than white, so I made it. Love it. Well, honestly, the orange makes more sense because he's, uh, he's the equivalent of a, a laborer in the monsters yeah. world. Okay. This is very fun and very soothing. This is really fun. I like it a lot. I like your stitch too. He turned out. Yeah, he turned out really good. <laughs> I like it a lot. He does need a little pink for his nose. Or right. Huh? Yeah. Well, they don't have that color. These are the only colors they had. Mm-hmm. Just chunky crayons. Yeah, the lines are a little wonky because my crayons are good for <laughs> Very cute characters, but they make me sad. Oh, that. So, it's a sad movie, you know? Like, because their parents are gone and. Yeah, well, and then, like, Stitch gets taken away, and Stitch is really bad at first, and Lilo's trying so hard. And her, Lilo's sister, the you know, is trying so hard to, to take care of Lilo. Yeah. And it's just. It's another movie. The, the damn social work. My, that's, that's my issue. He tries is to take the kid away. We, damn, we social workers <laughs> are just in media portrayed as people trying to steal children, which is weird. Yeah. Mrs. Doubtfire, which is arguably a terrible movie, uh, does the same thing. The social teachers worker. are always portrayed as bad. Right, they're teachers always are always with their students, or they're or they're like things. narcs, or yeah, yeah, so. or they're idiots. Like teachers portrayed as idiots. Yeah, it's is too. weird. For both of our jobs are it's portrayed weird. poorly and messy. Yeah. <laughs> same. The A little color. tangent there. We colored Mike Wazowski. <laughs> So we came out of coloring and it's just, it's a princess it's fest. princess fest. All the little girls dressed as princesses. We got an aerial. We don't see that very frequently. Look at those yeah. ears too. Yeah, those are super cute. Those are probably customs, right? And then you've got Belle and Jasmine, Cinderella, and then Rapunzel. I love characters. it. <laughs> it would be very fun to dress as a princess. Like to be oh, one of the sure. princess characters has yeah. got to be one of the best. Yeah. Just because, I mean, their outfits are beautiful. I'd want to dress like Donald. I'm too short. Th or I'm too tall, though. I want you want to dress as who? Donald. <laughs> I, want the, <laughs> I want the Donald mascot suit. So cute. Okay, let's go. But Donald's kind of dumpy, and I don't, I don't have a, I don't have a, a, a hip. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're headed in now. We're gonna go see Shang Chi. Should be fun. One more. So this is our first time inside the Buena Vista Theater. We're coming in from deck four. Yeah. So you think that's the balcony? You can go ahead. Smells very old school in here. Oh wow. Wow. It's big in here. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. Yeah, you wanna go up? Alani. Oh cool. We're gonna be there in a month. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's our next vacation is Alani. <clears throat> You pick. It's warm in here. Yeah, it's a little toasty. Cool. Yeah. 
cool. It's really pretty. Uh, yeah. It's much bigger than I was expecting. Ooh, these chairs are nice. Oh, good. A stew. Yeah, it sounded really good. Yeah, I figured you'd want some. <laughs> Thanks, babe. That's kind of why I got it. So we watched uh, Shang-Chi. Uh, Such a good so movie. Good. It's been a while. I don't think, because every year we rewatch all of the Marvel movies, I don't think we watched it last year. No, we didn't. We either didn't finish it or... We didn't watch it again because I had just watched it on a trip or something. And oh, it was probably something like but I, that. I think we, I don't think we finished our rewatch last year. Past Endgame, which Shang Chi, which Shang Chi would have landed in. Yeah. But anyway, it's been a while. Yeah, it's definitely been a while. Um, so now we're back at Royal Palace. Palace. What were you gonna say? Enchanted Garden. No. We're back Royal at Royal Palace, Palace for lunch. Lunch this service. Is our, our first lunch service sit down. Yes. And it sounds really good. Yeah, I'm excited. It's kind of nice like to do the sit down for breakfast and lunch because for dinner we're skipping Royal Palace to do quick service to take it into Ant-Man. So yeah, that's going to be fun. It's kind of appropriate to do the sit down for <laughs> breakfast and lunch, I think. Get more filling food. Yeah. It's really pretty in here too. It's we got a slightly different angle. We're still by the water. Right. We can still see the water, which is nice. Yeah. And you said the captain came on and said we were making good time. Yes. The cast uh, key. Yep. So he said we're gonna we're back in he said we're thirty miles north of Cuba and we're gonna hit the Gulf Stream here soon and like rock it over to, to cool. uh, Castaway like Key. Like crush. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it's cute. Yeah. I'm excited for So yeah, we're gonna be there at eight thirty tomorrow morning, Castaway Key, so we're gonna get up uh, early tomorrow, grab breakfast and be ready to go. Yeah, I'm pumped. I'm very excited. I wanna get off the ship like an ASAP. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. So Lauren got the Brunswick stew. That looks good, huh? Yeah, it's like corn and whole pork and all sorts Tomato. of stuff. Tomato. Yeah. It looks really yummy. Uh, and then I got the I got a cob salad. Which is probably what I should have gotten. Which I looks great. The salad. Nah, it's fine. Okay. It's all like veggies and stuff. Here, right? All right, appetizers were perfection. God, I had that Brunswick stew and it was so good. Devin tried it too, and I told him he has to make it for me at home. Now we because of, it, we spent a bunch of time figuring out what was in it. So. Yes, because it was very delicious, and hopefully Devin can recreate it at home. But since we're on a different part of the ship, I thought I'd show you the different decor. You've got the princesses and princes. We haven't been sat near the murals yet and it's hard to like just walk around and take video of other people's stuff but it's cute all right lunch is here i got the turkey burger it's got marinara on it as well as mozzarella cheese and like these rosemary chips and that's then, really good. I know, right? And then Demi got the classic burger with french fries. Fries and a little bit of slaw. Yes. Which I'm not a big fan of, but... You uh, ate it the other day, didn't fry. you? It was a vinegar slaw. This is mm. the cream-based slaw. Mm. Vinegar slaw is great. Gotcha. Lauren, can you do me a solid and just repeat what you said? Why? I don't <laughs> think it was that funny. I was <laughs> yes, being serious. I know, which is why it's so funny. Okay, I just I said that I've I've decided that I'm done and I'm ready to move on. Yeah, I'm done right. eating. Which means which means we need to go. <laughs> <laughs> which means yeah, you should probably hurry up. You still have like a lot of your burger left, but I'm done. <laughs> it was good. The um. It's a little, it was a little dry. I wish I had more of the marinara sauce. Um, I think because I also took off like the pickles and the bell peppers, it probably lessened obviously the flavor of it. So it does taste a little plain. Um, and I'm sure it's more flavorful obviously, but those things, I just don't like those things. Um, and I just wish I had more of the marinara sauce because for me, that's where I would have gotten the flavor. The cheese, the mozzarella cheese was very good. It was very it really fresh. Good. It looked like real mozzarella. mozzarella cheese. The burger was cooked really well too. Not as good as your turkey burgers, not as flavorful, but good. Thanks, dear. And the the little rosemary potato chips were pretty good. Um, I like a crispier chip, so that's not my jam. Devin's fries were very good. Very good. I think they were kind of rosemary flavored too. A little bit. And they're different than the fries that you can get upstairs at like Flo's and Mater's and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So if you want to try a really good fry, come down to uh, this place. Mm -hmm. 
Would you like your burger? I did. I liked it a lot. Um, they use sweet pickles on um, all their pickle stuff here, oh, nice. even at the the burger station upstairs. Mm -hmm. So, not a big fan of that, but. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's nice your bun was toasted. That's kind bun, of a nice touch. Bun was amazing. Yeah, overall it's great. Um, the the key, if anyone wants to know, uh -oh. for lorifying the food <laughs> is a lot of flavor well, in the meat. It's not only the flavor and stuff, but when you take something away from a recipe, you can't just leave it. You have to um. compensate it with something else that Lauren likes. <laughs> Uh, otherwise, you're going to end up with just a lackluster meal. Yeah. I'm not a very picky eater. And that's the problem. If anybody hasn't figured that out yet. These folks, while amazing, do not understand the intricacies of cooking <laughs> in my life. <laughs> that's right. So I forgot to mention yesterday when we did the, the Art of the Theme show tour. Which was really funny because the presenter who, who was taking us on the tour around the ship, she said she has no idea what the hell that means. It was great. She's like, oh, it's just a bunch of words that everybody likes that they just threw together. Um, she mentioned, like, cell phone service is, like, notoriously bad for ships, even when you're on, like, in your, in your country of origin. So, like, when you're on port days here in the U.S., I've complained a bunch of times to Lauren that, like, the cell phone service here is terrible when you're on the ship. It's like the second you go into the ship, your phone just doesn't work. Um, but she said that there's actually a reason for that. And uh, to my surprise, it wasn't capitalism. It's actually just because the ship is made out of steel. Uh, it's solid steel from like the entire thing. So apparently cell phones have a hard time getting reception through steel, especially through multiple, uh, multiple layers of it. So uh, you can blame the, the uh, the, just the making of the ship itself for how bad our cell phone services are here. Yeah, uh, Devin's fun fact for the ship. Also, I'm not sure if you can see it, uh, but there's a ship in the distance. Some sort of maybe, maybe container carrier, something like that. Oh, there's something else over there too. Way in the distance. Like even farther away on the horizon. Love that ocean. Devin's a pro. Oh, I have to hold it now. Oh, you've got ice cream dripping on you. Yeah, drip down from here. The swirl comes out fatter. <laughs> so we were just leaving. We came back here to the room where we were restocking water and stuff like that. And Lauren, I see Lauren's eyes get wide from behind my shoulder. I know, it was actually, I should have been filming like, your reaction. <clears throat> oh God, what am, we were just out on the, on the, on the veranda and I got hit by a little piece of trash that fell from the deck. So I'm already jumpy. <laughs> it's fair. Uh, and then I turn around and we have a bat. That's so cool. How long has it been here? I think all day. <laughs> We've been in here multiple times. It's 1.15. It is 1.15 in the afternoon. We've been in this room multiple times to like get water or go to the bathroom. And I think the bat has been here. It's a bat. Multiple times. So cool. It's so cool. I've never ever in any of the videos we've seen seen a bat mm -mm. before. No, that's, that's really neat. That's awesome. I mean, I was worried our stateroom hated us. Our stateroom host hated us. <laughs> Did we tell that story? No, because... <laughs> so we thought we got an elephant because we have a magnet on our door that says we love, uh, we love talent animals. animals and it's an elephant. And then we had this blanket rolled up. Well, it was in the video. They saw it. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So the one we thought it was an elephant because this looked like the a way it was situated. It's Thor's hammer. It's Mjolnir. And then I went and I complimented him. I was like, oh, thank you so much for the towel animals. We love them. And he's like, what? And I'm like, oh, the elephant that's on our bed. And then he looked dejected. And he's like, he's I, like made oh, I made hammer. Thor's hammer. I was like, oh, <laughs> sorry. I was really just trying to say thank you. And then I fucked it all up. No. But 
This was Thor's humor. We it's, still have it. It's very cool. Obviously, we see it now. <clears throat> yes. But it did look like an elephant. Honestly. I think we were just excited because of the magnets. Yeah, it did. And he gave us the swans the first night, so we were like, oh, we have to have them. I wonder if this is because we didn't get one last night because yeah, we, we didn't have them in our room last night. Anyway. This is super cool. <clears throat> I love it. That is really cool. You took a photo of it, yeah? Yeah, I took a photo. Okay, cool. So we w are going to... I don't know if I got a photo of the elephant slash mumium. I'm not uh, sure. It was definitely in the video, <clears throat> but... You might not have gotten a video of it. Okay. A photo of it. Well, we're going back to the Buena Vista Theater because uh, at one thirty, so in 13 minutes, is the D23 Inside Disney at Sea. And it says, join us for an exciting look at what's new and what's next from all of Disney's wonderful worlds. It's presented by D23. And we've never been to D23, and this seems like kind of a cool opportunity to... Um, see some things. I don't know. It's an adults only event. So yeah. that could be kind of cool too. Yeah. So like when I said, we've never been to the <coughs> D23 Expo. We were not part of the D23 mm -mm. club or anything like that, but we we should be. If they'd let us in, Disney let us in. It'd be cool. Well, we just don't know how to sign up either. But I have to say, we're not connected to the internet or anything like that. And these notifications are driving me insane because I can't clear them. I have 22 in my work email because <laughs> today's Tuesday oh, and yeah, people are nuts. back at work. And I keep getting pop-up notifications, even though I can't, you can't see them. access them. anything. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. getting the pop-up notification. Which is really weird, because our data is turned off. We're on airplane mode. Mm -hmm. And we made sure our cellular data is off, but we're still getting it. It's driving me wild. <laughs> all right, see you in the one of us together. The lights are all on in here. I don't know if it's just because we're early. Oh, interesting. Oh, this might be a presentation presentation. Uh, this is cool. Hopefully we're allowed to come if we're not D23. No, it didn't. It just said 18 <coughs> up. We're, we're a little above that. <laughs> so here's a shot of the theater from the ground. So this is the stage from that. So it's a decently sized theater. <laughs> Lawrence dancing. No, <laughs> Thank you, dear. I'm gonna sing over Devin talking. So it's a pretty big theater. And you can enter from deck five or four. So keep that in mind as well. Cool. And the carpet is really cool too. They're like stylized Mickey heads. It feels very appropriate for like a theater. It absolutely does. It reminds <clears throat> me of like an old arcade, old theater. Mm -hmm. It's great. Again, no one's ever going to beat Disney for theming. Parks and movies to streaming music and beyond. And that's what we're going to do today. Give you a look at all of the exciting things coming from the wonderful worlds of Disney. It's kind of what we do best. Ready for a 45 minute ad. Did you know there's an official Disney fan club? Also at Disneyland, plans were recently revealed for enhancements coming soon to the treehouse in Adventureland. Meanwhile, French Market Restaurant in New Orleans Square at Disneyland will soon be reimagined into Tiana's Palace. Located on Orleans Street, Orleans right. Street. Well, rid their home of supernatural squatters. Jamie Lee Curtis, who joins the cast as Madame Leota, made an unforgettable appearance aboard a haunted mansion doom buggy. Yes, in 2024, be able to set sail on the Disney treasure. Inspired by the theme of adventure and celebrating Walt Disney's lifelong love of exploration. Meanwhile, here in the Bahamas, progress continues on the beautiful new island destination, Lighthouse Point, which will bring the natural beauty and rich culture of the Bahamas to life for Disney Cruise Line guests. Yeah. Alright, so we saw the D23 thing. It was cool. I mean, there was some, a couple of some bits of new, new info. Things, yeah. A lot of just like previews and stuff like that for things that we already knew were coming. Yeah. Um, but still cool to see. I mean, it's exciting. It's always exciting to hear what Disney's doing, you know? Right. They're planning a lot of new stuff for the parks, so maybe it's time to maybe this fall or something go back to the parks. I know. I think the key is that. Yeah, like I'm get, we're gonna have to go in the off season. Yeah. Because it's just. Yeah, I just 
There's no way to, to do it in the summer. Well, yeah, no, we'll, it's just too we'll crowded. So, I don't know. Leave us Disney tips in the comments. We used to go every year. Sometimes multiple times Sometimes a year. Sometimes multiple times a year. In college, no less, when we were poor. Right. And now, like, it just feels impossible. Right. But it's also overwhelming, too, to plan a trip to Disney With, uh, now. The new apps and everything costs Genie and, uh, way more. So much work. Right. So, I don't know. But, but yeah, we'll like one said, leave us tips. Let yeah. us know how you navigate the parks. Mm -hmm. right, so, so we're going to go do towel folding now. We're going to see if we can get in. It's an evolution. It started a while ago. We'll let you know. Oh, that's the one we have in our realm. Look at the carefully. This one. We're going to put it in the center with a split side on top. We made it. So we can make... There's directions for making a swan, an elephant, a dog, and a lobster. That's so much fun. We love lobsters. Okay. Tattoos. <laughs> it's perfect. It'll match. Lay it out. And you do the two corners. <laughs> I think I did it. You made it? Was it uh, just a, a sad snake? <laughs> <laughs> Fold the towel in half. Start rolling at the top. Stop rolling the top right corner diagonally towards the bottom left corner until it meets the center of the right hand side. Did you get all that? I got none of that. <laughs> you didn't get any of that? It was so clear. Start rolling the top right corner diagonally towards the bottom left corner. Top, top right, wait. My right or their right? <laughs> I'm going to say my right. Top right, well this would be my top right. To form the head and neck of the swan. I mean, you did something. I don't think that's it. But you did, you did a version of it. Look at my child. What's his name? Uh, Davis. I was going to say Swenson, but that's a food company. But it is a swan. Swenson's. <laughs> Swenson's a food company, isn't it? A food delivery company? We're clearly not made to be stateroom hostess and hosts. That was taking pictures with his masterpiece. I did the hard part. I figured out right. I made the neck. I figured out right and left. That was the hard part. So it turned into a club. <laughs> I know, he was very excited. Just we were making towel animals, and all of a sudden it was just like, mm, 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 and then mm, all of a sudden it was a rave. <laughs> Who knew, man? A towel animals could be so rave alicious. <laughs> um. It was cool. It's cool to see the directions for sure. Yeah. Jim loves to dress up. Love it. So now we're gonna head back to the stateroom. Yeah. Take a little break. There's like stuff floating in the water. I don't know what that is, but there's a lot of it. I don't know. It's like everywhere. There's like big streaks of it all over the ocean surface. So if anyone out there knows what that is, uh, just let me know in the comments. Lauren, you want to tell the people what we're doing? I think we're going to go meet Daisy Duck. Heck yeah. She's supposed to be down there at... Um, Four o'clock. It's like three thirty now. Kind of just been hanging out. Yeah. Getting sleepy. <laughs> Watching the ocean. Mm hmm hey, The lines have been nuts for character greetings today, so I think we're just gonna go scope it out. Mm hmm See how it goes. Yeah, and then we'll be picking up dinner. Just grabbing something from the pool deck, pizza or something like that. Um to take to the theater because Ant Man is at five fifteen, so it's kind of like the next couple of things. Maybe meet a character, 
grab dinner and be ready for Ant Man. Heck yeah. Which I'm excited to finally see. Me too. Hopefully I'll stay awake. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the latest we've seen a Marvel movie after its premiere. And it's only <laughs> four days. Four days. Yeah, I could have seen it Thursday. The 17th. Right? No. Yeah. 16th. 16th, yes. 16th. <laughs> All right, well, with the assistance of Carlos and guest services, thank you so much, sir. We found the vestibule is right here on deck three. So that's where it is. We're going to meet Daisy. I am. How prepared are you to meet Daisy? Very prepared. <laughs> I have my key to the world card. Oh, good. Right there. Apparently, that's very important. It always is. I get it because some people keep them tucked away. Yeah. Unless they're just right there. Because we're smart. I'm excited to see. It's going to be Sailor Daisy, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And then we'll have gotten both the ducks. I was telling them we didn't get the mice, but we got the ducks. Yeah. We're excited out about that. It's Daisy. <laughs> 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 it is very dark. <laughs> yeah, like seven minutes away from Ant Man, though. Yeah. You excited? I'm very excited. Me too. First new Marvel movie in a while. Mm -hmm. Very excited. And we're seeing it on a cruise ship, which is exciting. It's a whole new whole new avenue of movie watching. It's gotta take a cruise every time a new Marvel movie comes out. <laughs> That's you the rule wish. Now. I don't think so. I do, I do wish. <laughs> No oh, wish. Yeah. So we just came in, came back from Ant Man. We'll talk about that later, but we need to talk about this. A penguin? What is it? I think maybe a penguin. But I was wrong about Thor's humor, so. I don't know. I think he's a penguin. And he's chilly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I think he's a penguin or something. Yeah, something. He's cool. What? I love him. I like how they use the blanket. Right. Him. So I guess chime off in the comments, man. I think he's cute. What are you? <laughs> All right, I'm headed to guest services because we have no internet, and tomorrow at three thirty-five we can check into our flights. So, uh, since we don't have the internet, we wanted to see if they could help out. Or, if there's a kiosk somewhere that they can, I don't know, direct me to. Um, RC has like standalone computers you can use. Uh, so I'm interested to see if DCL does as well. So, I'll let you know. I should probably stop walking or talking and doing this while I'm walking downstairs. So it is an absolute madhouse down here at the atrium. Uh, it's interesting. So good to know the front desk folks, the people at guest services, amazing people at guest services, they can actually check you in for your flight when you just walk up to it. Like they have access to all the internet and stuff. There's not like a standalone kiosk that like RC has, but um, guest services can just do it for you. Uh, you can even set up a time where someone will check in for you. Just leave your flight, in, your name and your flight information, and they'll just do it for you, which is amazing. I'm not opting to do that. I'm just going to come by tomorrow afternoon, and they'll help us check in when the 24-hour check-in time starts. But, I mean, that's amazing to know. So, pro tip, just go to guest services because they're amazing. Thank you, Disney. Also, like I was saying, absolute madhouse. So like just 
hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. So there's a bunch of character meet and greets happening right now. It looks like Tiana is there, which is great. Um, there's some sort of character meet and greet happening over there. It looks like Sailor Donald. And then we have stuff in the corner as well. There's characters in each corner. You have Donald. You have Tiana. And then over here you have, I believe that's Cinderella. But the line for Cinderella, like look at this, I'm just gonna show you in real time. Extends all the way past here. This is still Cinderella, mind you. Still the line. All the way to here. So to Sea Treasures. And then there's another line here to get your photo with the rose from Beauty and the Beast. So Lauren and I were wondering what that was earlier. That's what that is. And the line for that isn't crazy long. Are you gonna like marry your princess? But it's still pretty long. Whew. And then it looks like we got people lining up for Beauty and the Beast already. There's an 8.30 show. Anyway, I'm gonna go back up, spend some time in our room. Ah, there we go. There's the stairs. Welcome to the Walt Disney Oh, <laughs> he's going to intro it for you. <laughs> You're going to talk or? Yeah. Hi, we're at uh, the Walt Disney Theater. We're going to see Beauty and the Beast, the stage show. Yes. But the stage show, it's kind of cool in here. Yeah. So, there's the stage. There you go. There's the stage. We've got some weird music going on. These cool, like, light sconces now have this, like, flame effect. Ambiance. Coming out of them, which is really cool. It's very crowded in here. This is the third and final show tonight. Um, it already played at 1 o'clock and then at 6 o'clock, so... It's going to be busy. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. But I guess this is all of the first dining people the people who had dinner at 5 45 this is their designated show time yeah but unless they saw the matinee that was at one i mean i guess it's smart to have three showings clearly if there's this much yeah uh, people want to see it this much yeah i mean it's kind of cool each ship has their own like stage show like this kind of like rc does right they have their own designated shows I wonder if it's the same reasoning like Royal Caribbean where the stage is like they built, it built in, in or yeah. something like that or it's a lot harder for them to change their props. I would imagine Disney was had a little more foresight than, Maybe. than that, you know, because their Imagineers are very smart. Either that or they have the money to fix it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But this will be cool. I'm excited for it. Yeah. It's our second to last show, so... Should be fun. And I think this is, like, the biggest production yeah, it's of, gonna be them, a, of them all, it's so... A big, it's a big deal, big stage play. Yeah, I'm excited. Do you like Beauty and the Beast, like, as a story or as a movie? Uh, no, and no. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. So, um, I like Belle as a very relatable princess, because she's obviously, like, the bookworm and stuff, and I obviously yeah. like France and French things. I'd so. very much prefer, like, an Aladdin stage show or yeah. anything else. <laughs> but, yeah. But I'm sure it's going to be it's gonna be Disney. It's gonna what be, is your favorite princess? Uh, I mean, Tiana's great. I love Princess of the Frog. I love the setting of Louisiana. Yeah, you do like that um, one a lot. Dr. Falsier, I think, is one of the better villains in He's Disney. pretty scary. He's very scary. Um, so that would be cool if they did that. Yeah, that would be really cool. Maybe one day, maybe on one of the future ships, because, yeah, I mean, they have a few coming out. So. And it's got better music, too, in my opinion. Yeah. Cause, it's uh, cool music, for sure. Everything is jazz-inspired from, like, the oh, 1920s. Oh, my so. <laughs> Okay, well. This is going to be fun, though. Let's see, as a Tiana fan, if Beauty and the Beast holds up. It's going to be a spectacle. Yeah. I mean, it's Disney, right? You can't go wrong with Disney.
I feel like kids got lost there or something. Uh oh, and a lost guest key. Uh oh. It's always mayhem after a show. Oof, there's so many people at the end. It's like after fireworks or something at a park. <laughs> So we just got back to the room from Beauty and the Beast, the 8.30 show, and it was great. Wow. It was great. <laughs> I mean, it was <laughs> like we thought, you know, I mean, it's Disney, so it's going to be a spectacle. And Yeah, like the, the set pieces were really cool, and like the production, you know, is so cool. Like they have those screens, you know, on the, on the walls, which is really cool because they can make like any background like when we saw mean girls i mean it must just be standard right. theater tech but the little theater that we have in our uh city doesn't have that kind of technology no. but it's really cool to see it done and they can change like all the walls and stuff like that um just on the fly yeah. mm -hmm. and all the little set pieces and there's bubbles and confetti and <laughs> there's a lot going on flames <laughs> like little fireworks yeah, like kind of thing. Yeah, like strange fires. Yeah, it was cool. But it was very much the story, so it was really pretty cute. All the songs are stuck in my head now. I enjoyed yeah. it. It was really good. I'm really tired. But I enjoyed it. And I got, it was freezing in there. Yeah, you got like weirdly cold. Yeah, normally I don't get cold in that theater. I mean, I always bring my jacket just in the off chains, but normally I don't get that freezing. I don't know what happened. It was very cold, so I'm in the blanket right now. All right, Demon, Ant Man review. Ant Man, it was great. There was uh, a lot of discourse that I saw, like the day it premiered, that people were just like, ah, oh, it's not good, and Marvel's lost it, and yada, yada, yada. But it was great. I think it was one of the better. Um, Marvel movies that we've seen lately. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I really enjoyed it. I like Ant Man as a character. I love Paul Rudd. I mean, <laughs> I love Paul Rudd and like anything and everything. Yeah, he does great. I think he's very charming and I think he's very funny. Right. Um, so he was the same in this, you know. I really enjoyed him. Yeah. Very talented. Yeah, I liked it. And it's setting, it's continuing to set up stuff for future things which i know bug some Oops, people you weren't in the frame <laughs> i thought that for a second because the camera looked really low so it's just going to be my my your arm and your mic pack cool sorry it's all right oh geez <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when lauren's the director i this is why i'm an on i'm on camera talent yeah i'm not director no, i it was great though i mean it's it, it, i know it bothers some people um i mean people probably who aren't big fans of the MCU that like sometimes movies do feel like they're just like placeholders to set up future things. Mm. But Marvel, I think they try really hard to make every adventure meaningful, even though they want to grow their larger world yeah. at the same time. Um, I liked it. Yeah, I did too. I thought it was a lot of fun. I'd really give it a you're doing it again. nine. <laughs> I'd give it a nine out of ten. I'm really interested to see where they take it. Um, Jonathan Majors is uh, just stunning in like everything he does. Uh, I love Lovecraft Country. He plays Kang. Uh, he played He Who Remains. He's playing like 15 versions oh, of yeah. himself, and it's amazing. I'm yeah. excited to see uh, what else they let him do because he's going to be way awesome. He already is awesome, but I mean, he's just going to do wow. just stupendous. Yeah. Yeah. He's pretty cool. Yeah, and uh -oh. for anyone who has not watched it yet, there are two scenes. There's a mid credit scene and an end credit oh, scene. Oh, honey, this video is coming out months in the future. <laughs> but some, sometimes people <laughs> haven't seen it. Anyway, just stay till the very end. The second, uh, the end credit scene, like after everything is over, is way more, it's, I think, way more impactful than the mid credit one. I can't even remember what they were now. Either way. <laughs> You'll have uh, either, to remind me when you're done talking because so, I forgot. 
Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, like, because some. I remember were, one of them, but I can't remember what the other one was. A lot of Marvel movies have, like, the mid credit one, the stinger that's, like, the meaningful one, and then they have, like, a joke uh, one at the end. This is not that one. So uh, see, see both of them. Okay. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna wrap it up here. Yeah. I'm falling slowly, falling off the bed. I'm leaning back. So this was day f- four, three? Four? I think it was day four. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Just day Tuesday? Yeah, it's Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. So it was day four. It was a great day. I liked it. I'm excited for tomorrow, Castaway Key Day. Yeah, I definitely am excited. I'm excited for that too. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, so it's it's like a little bit before ten right now. Very tired. I wanted to stay up for the magic show. The adults only magic show. <laughs> but I'm not gonna make it. So, um, I I want to clean up a little bit, pack the bag for tomorrow a little bit, kind of decide what we're taking and stuff like that. Um. <clears throat> And then get ready for bed. We can keep watching um, the Avengers Age of Ultron. Sure. We were watching that today, yesterday? Yesterday. Yesterday. So, I'm, but I'm pooped. Okay. Bye. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow in our next vlog for Castaway Key. We're very excited. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired.